during the ongoing annual gathering of the world's leaders at United Nations General Assembly in New York, US President Joe Biden, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, among others, raised their concerns regarding global matters, particularly Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The United Nations General Assembly session began with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres describing Russia's invasion of Ukraine as an excess of horror. At UNGA, US President Biden called upon the world's leaders to unite in solidarity with Ukraine and act against Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. He added that Putin bears the sole responsibility of the ongoing war and also has the power of ending it immediately. Speaking in the ongoing session, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Russia's aggression as a worldwide threat that does not end on Ukraine's border but goes beyond them. He told the assembled leaders that the ongoing war against Ukraine is to turn its land, its people, its lives and resources into weapons. Like other leaders, Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida also kept his focus on the Russia-Ukraine war and said that Russia's aggression against Ukraine has not yet ceased and hence the world needs to work in cooperation to help Ukraine. He called for building a world without nuclear weapons, adding that nuclear-armed nations must put in efforts towards disarmament. He also sought normalizing ties with North Korea by resolving all the issues including Pyongyang's past kidnappings of Japanese civilians to train its spies. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz directed attention towards people suffering in Ukraine, saying that Russia's war of aggression has inflicted pain on people around the world because the Russia-Ukraine war has resulted in inflation, growing deaths, the scarcity of fertilizer, hunger and increasing poverty. He added, peace without freedom is called oppression. Peace without justice is called dictatorship. Moscow too must finally understand that. Saying that due to Russia, the world has become a dangerous place, President of Czech Republic Petri Pavel added that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is a violation of the UN Charter and international law. He added that it is atrocious that Ukrainian children are forcefully deported to Russia due to which they forget their culture and their identity. Hence, the annual leaders' summit at UNGA was highly focused on Russia's war against Ukraine, where world leaders condemned Russia for its brutal act. Additionally, issues of border security and climate change were also brought up at the UN General Assembly.